Kitchen. My name is Leanne Phillipson Webb. I'm a registered nutritionist and the founder of Spirit Right. Today I'm going to show you how to make a fantastic, nutritious, and delicious quesadilla for the family. This recipe is available in my book called Spirit Right. Let's get started. This quesadilla is a great place to hide some vegetables that your children may not be too sure about. Maybe some spinach. Today I'm going to use some bok choy and broccoli. Although I think broccoli gets a bit of a bad rap because a lot of children actually do really like broccoli. And I've also got some uh, orange peppers in here. You can use red peppers. You can also use uh, yellow. Get the kids involved when you're making something like this so that they've got some preferences that they really, really enjoy as a part of their meal. I'm just going to pulse this in my Cuisinart food processor and it will give me just a slightly finer chop by pulsing than if I just turned it on and let it run. And I want this to be slightly fine so that if there is anything in it that's hidden then the kids aren't going to notice it. And I've actually used my top bowl for this and I'm going to add this to my dookie beans. You can use kidney beans, you could use any type of bean that you know that your children like. If you've got some leftover chicken, I'm all about left using leftovers in your food, then I'd really recommend to add some of that in. Add it to your top bowl just to chop it. And if you want to maybe add in some corn or some peas, again, get the kids involved and let them know what you're making. And they can choose what goes in. You're going to get a little bit more compliance that way in terms of what they want to eat. So this is looking really lovely and colorful. So to my mixture, I'm going to add in some cheese. Now with my fabulous Cuisinart food processor, I'm just going to attach on my grater blade, put my lid on, securely, take this out, and in goes the cheese. I'm going to use some goat's cheese because for anyone with food sensitivities or issues with dairy, then this is a perfect alternative to it. And nobody really knows when you put it into the quesadilla that you're using goat's cheese. I'm going to turn this on and quickly grate the cheese. Look at that, done in a flash. And it's ready to go into my bowl. Mix all the cheese in with all of my other ingredients. And then I'm going to add it on to my wrap. You can use a kamut wrap, you could use a whole wheat wrap, um, anything that you like. You, you could use a chapati. And because this one's quite big, I'm actually going to cut it in half and fill half a side over there with my filling and I'm going to use my griddler with the top down to grill it. I'm going to melt the cheese. Nobody's going to know about the extra greens that I've put in here. You could sprinkle on some corn on top now if you wanted to. Now I'm going to cook my quesadilla. Put your lid down and about five maybe ten minutes we've got lunch or dinner. My name is Leanne Phillipson Webb. Please check out spurtright.com and thank you very much to cuisinart.ca and wewelcome.ca. Check us both out for information on our upcoming webinars. See you soon.